Well, as violence continues in the capital city, the Providence City Council president is now asking for the governor for state police help. This request comes two days after a 35 year old woman was allegedly beaten by a group of ATV and dirt bike riders after beeping her horn at an intersection. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a biking group that disputes those claims. She joins us now live in studio with what that group is saying tonight. Anita. Well, Kim, a woman claims she was dragged out of her car and beaten by a group of 10 ATV and dirt bike riders in the Smith Hill neighborhood Tuesday night. But a bike life group says her story was exaggerated and paints riders in a bad light. It was near this intersection of Valley and Zone Streets that a 35 year old woman says she was kicked and punched by a group of ATV and dirt bike riders after she beeped her horn at them. This and other recent crimes are prompting city leaders to ask the state for help patrolling city streets. But a member of the group Bike Life Lives Matter, who says he knows some of the riders involved, claims the woman chased the bikers and willingly got out of her car at an intersection. Like nobody deserves to get beat up. But that woman should have not been accelerating her vehicle, revving her car against these people going through red lights. Police are still searching for the people responsible. A letter was sent to Governor Dan McKee by the city council president requesting the state police assist the Providence Police Department. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Parry tells 12 News the governor does have the power to bring them in, but there should Asking state police to help curb violence in Providence. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian. The recent uptick in crime prompted the city council president to send a letter to the governor requesting that state troopers be brought in to assist the police department. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been tracking these developments and joins us now with the details. Anita. Shannon and Kim, now that the city council president has made that request, the city's public safety commissioner, Stephen Parry, says the governor does have the power to bring them in, but says they are still in constant communication with the state police. There have been multiple offers to have the state police help the Providence Police Department by Governor Dan McKee, but as of now, the governor says those offers have not been accepted. Now the city council president is hoping to change that following the rise in crime. Council President John Igliozzi sent a letter to the governor asking for the help. Governor McKee spoke about this during a taping of Dan York's State of Mind, which airs Friday. If they, if, if they make some level of formal request right. through, this, through the city council, uh, we may be able to respond. The public safety commissioner telling 12 News the governor can unilaterally bring the state police into the city, but says there should be coordination between the two departments. Thursday afternoon, Treasurer Seth Magaziner, who is likely running for governor next year, also said there needs to be collaboration between the state and city in order for the violence to be addressed. I, I don't think it's a healthy thing for uh, this conversation to play out through press releases. I would like to see the leaders involved to actually get together and work on it collaboratively. These calls come after several violent incidents in the city, including what police describe as an attack on a woman driver by a group of ATV riders after she beeped her horn at them at a red light. Now, a short time ago, the governor wouldn't say directly if he's trying to bypass the mayor by bringing in the state police, rather saying he would like everyone to be on the same page with this collaboration. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.